get drinking water. Paddleboard, kayaks, bunch of stuff. Eh, good old Walmart. This is a town named Raymond. Small town. There's this artist who makes his metal arts that lines up more than two miles of road with many of his artwork. Last rest stop from the Washington side, offering a really great view of the bay. We are going to be crossing a long bridge to get to the Oregon side. A little bit of history of Lewis and Clark, right at the rest stop overlooking the bay. Scientists estimate 60 million wild salmon return each year to the Columbia and Snake Rivers at the time of the Lewis and Clark expedition. Today, only 1% of these fish remains. Chef is busy again, preparing one of my favorite lunch, custom fried noodle, yeah. just crossed the long bridge and so now we are in Oregon driving through their coastline which offers more spectacular views Another scenic point 
off Oregon's coastline a couple miles or so from the previous one we met this guy or I saw this guy looking for something between the cracks of this rock wall he was looking for a couple of coins that he had marked for the last 30 years it's been there and this time he couldn't find it he had hidden it between the cracks of this rock wall retired military helicopter pilot so anyway he marked another coin and replaced it in the same crack where the other one was for 30 years of Tillamook, a town that's famous for this company who makes uh, cheese, ice cream and other dairy products. This place was jumping. So this is where we'll stay for the night. A company called Blue Heron Cheese Factory and they allow RVers to come and park overnight here they make specialty cheese offers wine tasting and sells a number of other custom food products and this view is taken from right outside our door not too shabby beautiful Thank you. 